get in. Wait, Cynthia was in Undella Town? Yet another infamous encounter from the Pokemon series, this time in black and white, is the battle with Cynthia while she's on her vacation in Undella Town. And while this is an optional battle, it can really catch you off guard. For one thing, this is Undella Town, part of the Unova region that opens up after completing the first part of the story. So at this point, you wouldn't think there's too much important going on here, especially in this little beach town. But suddenly in this unsuspecting house is the champion of Sinnoh. Cynthia was a really cool character in her own game, over time and even immediately becoming a fan favorite. She was one of the champions that it seemed like we got to know better, and I like what she says when you first meet her in Undella Town in black and white, saying that your eyes remind her of another trainer, referring to the events of the previous game. It's meant as a wink to the player, but kind of a cool fact that goes along with it is that all the game protagonists have gray eyes, so they all do have the same eyes. But after the nostalgia of meeting an old friend, you're reminded of the power that she's truly capable of. Since this is in the post-game, her Pokemon are at level 75, with her ace Garchomp being at 77. I do like that she's made some changes to her team. While she keeps Lucario, Milotic, Spiritomb, and of course Garchomp, she's acquired an Electros, which is a cool Pokemon, being one of the few to not have a weakness. So it makes a great buddy for Spiritomb, but the Braviary looks just a bit out of place. Sure, it's a cool Pokemon and is strong strong, but it isn't really a powerhouse like the rest. In Black 2 and White 2, she drops Braviary and brings back her Togekiss, which is a great idea. At least for her, not, not for us. But she loses the Electros and picks up a Glaceon? Sure, having a nice type is a cool idea, pun intended, and Glaceon is from Generation 4. But it's sadly one of the worst evolutions in terms of battle. Glaceon is a personal favorite of mine, but even I know the pain of trying to use one in battle. The four moves that Cynthia's Glaceon Glaceon has are literally the only four good moves that Glaceon can learn. But then again, maybe it was for our own good so that we don't get 100% steamroll. She's holding back her true power. But I think the cool part is that if you can win, Cynthia will be available to battle once a day during the summer. Because Black and White had the season system. But it honestly is appropriate because Undella Town itself plays into this. Normally, the music is quiet like a little beach town off the coast. But during the summer, the music changes to make it a bustling tourist spot where Cynthia Cynthia decides to visit, and can hang out with her friends who live in the region. It's always cool to see characters from previous games traveling to other regions, and especially seeing them interacting with some other characters. And I can see why Cynthia likes this place, it's really neat. Although it does bring up the infamous topic of Cynthia's swimsuit. The topic is brought up by herself as well as a trainer in the bay who says she's a bit shy, and only swims at night. Now, Cynthia being one of the beautiful adult characters has a lot of fans. What say we forget the tournament and grab some lunch? I think you'll be dining alone as usual. And they've all been waiting for Pokemon to break and put out something official. It makes the whole situation even better that in Pokemon Masters, the topic continues to come up here and there and so people are even more convinced of the possibility. Though I wouldn't bank on it. Pokemon would never stoop to this level, right? With this recent Pokemon Masters event, it's only a matter of time, and, and I'm not ready for the simpage that will ensue. Well, for now, we don't have Summer Cynthia, but we can have Beach Garchomp, which I would argue is even better. But it all just makes the experience that much more memorable. So we can spend our summer in Undella Town with Cynthia. But anyway, hey, this is Gatorx, and let me know what you think about uh, this battle. Is it one of your favorite battles in Pokemon, or I guess, you know, what was your experience with it? Again, you know, uh, I played uh, Pokemon White version way back in the day. I, it feels weird saying way back in the day, but back then, uh, blind, so I, ha I had no idea that this was waiting for me at that one house in uh, Adela Town. So it was, you know, a really cool experience, and I'm sure, you know, a, a lot of people share this and that, you know, just, just running into this strange surprise, but I think it's pretty neat. Uh, you know, I guess with Cynthia, it's kind of interesting to see that, I guess, uh, again, you know, immediately was kind of a fan favorite, it seemed like, and I guess over the years even more so, just seeing how they bring her back whenever they can or in what way. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll be able to, I guess, uh, see Cynthia again in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl later this year, so I guess that's pretty neat. But uh, eventually, eventually, years, years later, when we get the remakes of Black and White, That'll be that'll be a funny thing to do in Undella Town again. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to uh, go above and beyond with that support, there's the applause button down below if you think I deserve it. But otherwise, you can enable notifications to make sure you see each new video as it comes out. Anyway, this has been Gatorx.
Have a nice day.